Hey, it's Lulu. I'm excited you're here and I'm going to walk you through this page. So I am experimenting in this page here and I just roughly sketched out a face with some charcoal and then I'm going to give this lady a shirt. I really like just the design of this piece of paper. So I'm just gluing it straight down. I don't plan on altering it in any way. Uh, I just tore, it was shaped like that already. So I left it and then I just rough, roughly tore the edge off the bottom. I like rough e edges, so I just left it like that. Just making sure it's down. And then at this point I'm debating what to put in her hair. Uh, and I decided to just do book text, music text, just all like at the same kind of piece of paper and just do little pieces all over using like a Mod Podge glue and gluing down under and over to make it sure it has a nice seal because I'm not sure what I'm going to add on top yet. And so we, might, we use my palette knife just to scrape it down, make sure it all stays in place. Now I've got some clear gesso and I'm going to start activating this charcoal pencil. I'm trying to stay really loose with this lady. Um, I don't want to get too particular, too embedded in the details, but I also want to just really play around with this charcoal and how it just gives instant shading when I activate it with the clear gesso. The reason I'm doing the clear gesso is so it stays more permanent. Otherwise, if it was just water, it can just keep getting reactivated. So I'm just adding more shading back and forth, adding, putting in a little bit of highlights with a white acrylic paint and smoothing out with my fingers. I love getting my fingers dirty and really connecting to the piece with my with my fingers. And so uh, every work I do, I'm always touching it. <laughs> so just defining more, adding some darker lines in the eyes, activating it shading it and just keep building up the layers in the face. I didn't measure this ahead of time uh, but oftentimes when I go to draw I'll just start from the chin and I roughly know where the features go and so I'll just uh, draw it in from the chin up. So I put those earrings in there I didn't like them so I'm getting a blue acrylic paint I don't like that either S trying to mute it down with some white paint Still not really happy with that, <laughs> so I'm getting black. And then I think that just blends in too much with her. And so finally I get white again while the black is still wet, and I blend it all together to get this nice uneven gray shade. I'm quickly drying it, adding more whites to the eyes to bring those forward. And again, with the definition, a little bit definitely goes a long way with this charcoal. Giving a little outline, I like to keep it really loose and sketch-like around her hair. Etching into the wet paint. Now I, I took a pencil to try to write. It didn't really work very well. I tore the paper so then I got um, a softer lead pencil and did a little bit of journaling in her hair. Which takes me to the next step. Like, oh I want to write more about this page. I completed this page on the last year or the last day of the year and so I wanted to reflect on my year as a whole and so I'm using a glass pen and dipping it into white acrylic ink and so just journaling right onto this page I really love using a glass pen because it roll right on acrylic paint that's not completely dry or cured and it just it really works for me since I don't have much patience so <laughs> I just added a little bit of glitter glue in earrings a little, little bit in the hair and then she's done i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and now you know my favorite combination of a little artwork with a little soul work and that personal introspection enjoy and please keep in touch like and subscribe and come find me come share your work